but certainly not least, Libras, it's your turn at Scorpio season. Why don't you take a whack at it? Good luck, because this is one for the books. You guys, in your season this year, oh my god, what I was saying in the Virgo reading, I feel like everyone says, like, oh, this was the worst hurricane season on record this past year. This year, Libra season was the worst Libra season on record. <laughs> wow. That was crazy, y'all. Relationships. So much to be learned. I really hope we're learning. I really hope we're growing because if you haven't gone into Scorpio, then the rebirth of Sagittarius is all for nothing, right? Like you could really discover a whole new life, a whole new path for yourself come Sag season. If you use this time to really make things different, challenge yourself, see what you're made of, see what's underneath when you pull back, when you, when you take off all that makeup, when you take off all the jewelry, when you take off your skin and your bare bone skeletal structure, what does that look like? Looks like you guys are a little too fond of your past. It's not good to see going into Scorpio season. Nope, not good. You're too fond of things looking good to make a wise choice. You're too materially oriented. And everything looks so scary that we just, we stick with what we know. Afraid to take a shot in the dark. There's a uh, female earth sign that you're really unsure of. There's a decision surrounding that. One that you're being forced to make. One that you don't know how to make. Maybe they're asking for some commitment. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what do we get first here? We got this. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Definitely money. And a new way of thinking requires you to leave the old behind. Leave what you couldn't achieve behind. It's in the past. We are moving on. This is Scorpio. This is rebirth. Move on. Move on. Oh my god. Move on. We love the past too much. It's this sacred place we like to visit time and time again. Whether we spend too much time with our mom or whether we just are surrounded by females that really like to nurture us, like to baby us, um, you know. It's not good anymore. It's not good.
because you guys are going to, um, yeah. You're just so overwhelmed. Nothing's easy. We're lost with our memories, with our comforts, yet nothing is comforting, nothing is pleasurable, nothing is enjoyable. Venus and Scorpio, guys, this is it. This really, really affects you guys more so than all the other signs. Libra is the natural home for Venus. Yes, you share it with Taurus, but it's it's you guys first. Just like Gemini is Mercury's true home. Oh gosh. You guys you guys can't be handed a thing. Whether that's knowledge, it's a wish, it's a blessing. This um This new opportunity, this new chance, seems more like a curse for you. You're just, um, you're not willing to go find opportunity or to go find a new job or to go find the stability that you're lacking, you know, materially. Um, Maybe you're looking for work in all the wrong places. And that, that money is just getting away from you. Or the true abundance is getting away from you. And you guys have a decision to make. Damn, I just saw this card in Virgo season. You guys know I hate seeing this card in this position means that you're not in the right frame of mind to make this decision this it could be love and you're really you're really defending it but you've like you're just not clearly seeing anything but your perspective and your defensive perspective that's keeping you from all of this you have to make a choice You either move or you die in Scorpio season. And I'm not saying literally die, but you kill yourself if you don't move. And what do I mean by move? Change everything you know. Try to change something that's not working. So there's got to be a lot that's not working for you guys if it's in Scorpio and it's in retrograde. It's about to go back into your sign, and you want to be ready for that because it's going to be really empowering. So this is your your moment to prove to yourself that you're made of more. You're made of thicker skin. Yeah. Man. You guys don't want to be handed a damn thing. I get that, that's respectable, but uh, what is it? Beggars can't be choosers? You can't pick the way things are presented to you. You can't control the future, the unknowable. You just have to be open to it. You guys preach that all the time. That Sagittarian and the House of Communication, always searching for higher ground. It looks like you don't do that for yourself. It's just a uh, the mirror image. It's just the reflection that people see when they look at you. They see themselves, but with your enthusiasm, with your optimism, and it's it's very disheartening to see that that's not who you are, true to your core right now. You've gotten away from it. Ooh, you've gotten away from it.
very aggressive energy. Ooh. It's just like you're... Kind of almost looks like you're hiding. Like when the battle starts, you're going to hide or you're going to... Um, Yeah. This stuff is so good, and you can't see it for that because you're you're not ready for good. You're not ready to really change it up. There's some real naivety here in your mind, whether you think it's all going to work out when you know that you're going to have to save yourself at some point, get out of this situation, um, get out of this possessiveness. It's like smothering love, Queen of Pentacles. Like, yes, there's a money tree that's growing, but is it worth everything I have to sacrifice for it? It's restrictive energy. Air does not do well with earth energy. Air survives on freedom. So it can keep moving. Earth is stagnant. It's grounding. It's responsible, and it's it's um. It, yes, it means abundance, but to us, to us, it's like death. That's what I'm seeing. Scorpio season. Earth to us is literally death, and you guys like are on a one-way ticket to you know where. You have got to stop idealizing the past. I hate that. I've said that so many times this season. Oh my god, you guys know better? Look at that fucking High Priestess. That's one of the best cards in the entire deck. And it's all for you. That's your card. I know that's a Libra card. I almost see the Justice card in that card every time. I have trouble separating the two. The only thing, I think the biggest difference is that um, Libra is government legal orientation, and this is spiritual philosophical orientation, like the Hierophant. But this is, this is, you're the wiser, you know, you know better. Like I said, this is, um, It's like you're at odds with your true nature here. You're going against your what you're meant to be doing. Because you're just getting so defensive and so aggressive about the, the defensive position that you're at. Like you just, you can't be, what is it? Nobody puts baby in a corner. That's what I'm seeing here. I don't know if that reference made sense, but it's what came to mind. It's like you guys are, are putting yourselves on this stone bench, and I don't know how you can't see that. You're just like, it's everyone else's fault, and it's not. It's yours because your indecisiveness is getting the better of you. Like I told the Virgos, just and Cancers, oh my god, just everybody, just pick a fucking direction. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just make some movement and you guys know exactly which move to make and that's what's frustrating some of these other signs really just don't know you guys do 
but it's like you you there's some tendency here to hurt yourself or to to familiarize the pain okay what are we seeing here so I hope I've kept these in the right order here so the lovers reversed you guys know better about the situation it's not becoming of you this person this page of Pentacles energy um, you're really feeling lost in love you don't feel the wealth you don't feel like you're working towards anything anymore yeah it's like that offer is going to require a lot of work and you're just so so not being wise about it you're just like oh my god it'll all work out la da da you know king of pentacles so we've got male and female earth energy here this could be Taurus it could be you guys Venus energy there in that card so eight of wands ooh oh shit okay eight of wands followed by the tower so <laughs> the moment you start laying a foundation it's it's going to destroy everything you know but I think I think that that is something we need to let happen so start planning and get ready to let go get ready to completely change your surroundings change this this really think it's relationship stuff here it should be hitting you guys more than anybody else but it's time it's time to go the other way it's time to find your purpose again and start working towards it again and it's like you're you're there's no other option it's like it has to happen because you guys right now are just so out of whack so out of whack that person literally knight of cups keeping you from ace of wands keeping you from your purpose your destiny you know it's like a this person is like a fucking red light in your life and you guys are already running 10 minutes late you know it's really holding you up I, I can't <laughs> three aces reverse are you kidding me the universe is fucking bending over backwards for you and you are just so ungrateful so ungrateful that this has to happen this is on you this is on you I'm sorry guys but Scorpio season is really really making my blood boil and when I'm seeing stuff like this I just I don't have any sympathy I don't I'm not I'm not coddling you know it's go time and by go I mean quit quit this quit this quit this relationship that's not getting you anywhere fucking you know better you know better it's not it's not for you this person may look great and looks like they've got a lot of things going, but none of it's for you. Aquarian, Sagittarius energy. Mm -mm. And you know that that promise, that commitment is going to be a hell of a lot of work. And it's not even worth it. I think you guys are just feeling so lost like you just you're just trying to do something that's going to make you feel more secure more in control and so you go for the one thing that comes that comes you know in your lane it's like this person is like a big old um, you know like a, a city bus 
and you're stuck in that line and while they're stopping letting other people on but they're not letting you on they're just holding you up they're holding you up when you you're already running late you know just think of how infuriating that is that's that's what i see here and you guys are just like oh no it's okay it's not okay it's not okay not this time sometimes it's okay not this time don't hold yourself up it's okay to have some road rage, to zoom around and just gun it. You need to do that in Scorpio season. Really take on Scorpio mentality. Aries in, in the, the house of doing, the sixth house, getting around town. Gun it. It is okay. I'm sorry to keep this short, but that was a lot. I'm really mad now. I need to go cool off. I hope you guys do okay and that when I come Sag season, you have done something good for yourself. You've made a change. You're going in a different direction, and you're not selling yourself short. You deserve more than that. And you can get a lot more than that. I mean, the universe couldn't have been more clear about that ace after ace after ace. I mean, a reading is lucky if there's one ace. You guys got three and turned them all down. You've got your back to every opportunity. I mean, I, I have, I'm just so upset. I'm so upset. So upset. But hey, it's your life, right? It's your life. And like I said, I'm not, I'm not coddling. These are hard truths, but there are some that need to be heard. So, you guys go out there, you make shit happen. Don't consider anyone else. Put yourself first and not yourself in a relationship, you, yourself, as an individual, put that person first. Put that person first and see where it gets you. I bet you end up in a lot better water. In a lane where all those traffic lights are changing to green and you can just breeze, you can coast on by. It's like you found the fucking freeway. I bet you you do. But get out from behind that, that city bus that doesn't have a spot for you because you're stuck in your car behind it. And you can never be there with that person that's driving that bus. All right? Peace. Ah, uh, Siri.